Hey, what is going on guys? It is Sean and I am back with another Infinity comparison. Now these videos usually get a good amount of views and you guys usually hate them. So let's try to get something out of the way. I'm having fun here. I am, do not spend hours and days and days looking through information to make sure it's perfect. I have fun making videos. So if you want to watch the video, here it is. Right here we have a 2013 Infinity G37 Sport Coupe. It is rear wheel drive, it is a six speed. Right here we have a 2014 Infiniti Q50. It is the sedan, it is the sport sedan Q50 S and it is all wheel drive. Let's take a look under the hood. Bam, and now they're open. Both of these cars have the VQ 3.7 liter V6 under the hood. Very, very similar. Now. This car right here makes about two more horsepower. This makes about 330. This makes about 328. Now, where do those two horsepower go, you might ask? Fuel economy. This one gets two more miles per gallon, city and highway. This is gonna get you about 19 city and 27 highway. This will get you about 17 city and 25 highway. So a couple here, a couple there to trade off. But other than that, not a huge difference as the engine goes. Now as we look at the front of these cars, we can see there was obviously a redesign. This front that the G37 and G35 had a pretty similar one. That grill design was kind of their thing for a while, but 2014 they said let's switch it up and we got that. I don't know what's going on here, but there's a lot more angles. We got curved with bigger grill. It's a much more in your face kind of feeling. Now in my opinion, the biggest difference between these cars is the interior. This one has a really awesome dual screen setup here. Um, it also has different drive modes and just the center console is really nice. Um, the clusters up here are pretty similar, steering wheels similar but a little bit different. Obviously this one has paddles because it is an automatic but this as some would call it manumatic is pretty nice and it does shift pretty quick and pretty well. We'll show you the rest of the interior right here. Nothing overly special. This leather, I think, looks nice, is comfortable. This interior is just really nice, pretty redefined. Let's sit in the other one and see what we have to say. So this car is obviously different on the interior. The steering wheel it has a few less options. The dash there has the same blue lights when they're on. Now this one has this infotainment system that has this one screen. It does not have the other one. It's just a little bit older. It's more similar to the G35, which is its predecessor, but it's definitely refined and better than the G35. And I definitely like this. This one's manual. We still do our, have our seat warming options as well. On the G37 here and the Q50 here, we have pretty similar wheels. I do like Infiniti's wheels. They do a really good job making stock wheels that are good looking and appealing. Now the backs of these cars do have some differences and this is the biggest thing where I'm actually not a huge fan of the Q series. The back is just normal. It looks like most of your cars, it go, goes flat. It comes in, has this flat part here. It's kind of a normal car, but if we look over here, I really like this one part large rounded feel that these G37s have. G35 is pretty similar, but on the G37 they actually make it even more rounded, which I do like. That's definitely a staple of the Infiniti G series. We obviously lost some of that in the Q, but I still love it on the G. We do have the trunk pop button on the key here um, that opens the back of the trunk, but one little thing that we do have on the G's. We have this nice little trunk pop button right here, which I think is kind of cool and different. This shadow graphite color that both of these cars have, I just love it. <laughs> it's awesome. It's really light when the sun hits it, and it's really dark where the sun doesn't hit it. So unfortunately, I can't really compare the differences on that because these are both the same color. But the shadow graphite does happen to be the same on both of these cars. Yeet. take a nice 
a little walk around these cars and we can take a look at the differences yeah definitely two nice cars uh, let's go over the specs real quick. Now my memory isn't great and I don't want to mess anything up for you so I'm gonna read the stats here. So the 2013 G37 makes, like I said, 330 horsepower crank where that makes about 228 horsepower crank. As I said, this gets, or that gets a tiny bit more fuel economy because of it. Um, but as far as other numbers go. This guy right here is going to get 270 foot-pound torque and this has 269 so again pretty much the same stats because it's very very similar drivetrain and as similarities go we can also look at the quarter mile in 0 to 60. This guy is going to do 0 to 60 in about 5.2 technically and 13.7 technically. Well this guy is going to do 5.1 and 13.7 technically. So again almost no difference as those stats go between these cars. Now a race might, might be interesting because this one does have all-wheel drive, so that would be an advantage in most race scenarios, but this one's also a little bit lighter. This guy's about 3,700 pounds, and this guy's about 3,750 pounds, so that's, that's really impressive how they're that similar. I guess they kicked some weight on this guy. So yeah, they're very similar cars. Name change is really what it comes down to. Name change, Interior was obviously upgraded a lot in that center console that looks a lot nicer and the front redesign and the back redesign um, A lot of look stuff a lot of interior stuff, but at the heart They're really similar cars. I like them both. I drive them both. I have driven them both. They're both pretty sick So yeah <laughs> I'm gonna go over some more subtle body line differences now. This is the coupe obviously but the sedan doesn't really look much different it just kind of has another window then it tapers this guy has this kind of different curve thing there to it which is kind of cool looking um, the window this has a piece over the top where on um, this guy it's just the glass and that's kind of cool I think and obviously that motor makes it go up that rest of the bit but these motors the window motors on the G35 and G37 had all sorts of problems so maybe they were just trying to alleviate some of those issues you can see the body line differences here the bottom's actually pretty similar um, but the grille is really the biggest difference and the headlights something the G's have had since 2003 are really long vertical headlights these kind of get more to a horizontal kind of an angry kind of look as opposed to that so as I've said before these are both really great cars you can't really go wrong. I would say if you're looking for something a little bit more fun and sporty, this might actually be a better car. It might be a little bit cheaper. Um, back seat, definitely not there <laughs> as much. Um, you can fit people, but not as great. But I like this as rear wheel drive and manual, so that's a little bit more fun. But this is a little bit full picture. This is, this is your everything. Sleek, sexy, um, fun, fast, and also practical and luxurious. This one is a little bit more than this. Big thanks to my friend Matt for letting me do this review. His information will be right here. But yeah, great cars. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Say hi, say which one you prefer in the comment section below and hit that subscribe button because that helps me a bunch. As always guys, I'm just Sean being Sean. Just being me, just be you. Now this car's steering is disconnected electronically. Some people don't love that. I don't mind it. Um, I think it's still really nice to drive. It might not be as great for somebody who's, you can definitely see them there. And obviously to make that work, we're gonna go down into our plus minus on the drive. This car also has multiple drive modes and the sport mode, which tells the drivetrain that it's gonna be putting in a little bit more work. So don't be afraid of it. <laughs> Ha ha ha!